Welcome to another session of self examine. For quite some time now, we have been practicing this exercise of a daily reflection of activities, events, people, and emotions that have circled around us. Before we get started, it is important for us to get prepared for today's Atma Manthan. Let us take a comfortable posture and decide that the next few minutes are very important because during this time I will detach myself from everything and everyone and certainly it's not going to be an easy task. But in every thought that flashes by your mind try to picture yourself in it because you are the most important component of this session silence is of prime importance in this exercise it has been a hectic day and perhaps we are quite exhausted and disinterested this routine of calming down detaching yourself from your surroundings spending a few but precious moments in complete silence being with yourself and listening to your mind can seem easy to some but quite difficult and impossible to the others a good way to carry out this exercise is to listen to sounds around you voices close to you or in a distance Plenty of things are happening at this time at various places but right now I am with my thoughts taking them and understanding them as they rapidly come into my mind Many times we wish each other a good day at times we also say have a nice day Very often the day doesn't go that way we have a bad start to the day or something unplanned or unexpected happens which brings about great trouble and sorrow what we had planned gets foiled what we thought would happen did not happen at all and what we did not wish for actually took place all this upsets us and we get put off our irritation and frustration is quite visible on our faces in our words and in our responses and interactions with those around us we become reactive and impulsive all this happens because we want everything to go our way to go the way we had planned it to go but there are situations forces and moments that are beyond our understanding that are beyond our design that are beyond our control and power and there is very little that we can do to change rectify mold or make it better in any way so what do we do let us pause for a while and recall instances where and when things did not go in our sway things which did not happen in our favor things which did not take place as we wanted them to maybe something from today or yesterday or even before that think of moments that have passed and have not gone the right way then they continue to worry us even today there is one thing we could do about it we could control our reactions 
since we had no control on the situation and this is a very difficult thing to do some of us who are patient may find this an easy task but many of us who are impulsive usually instantly respond in an agitation to such situations we lose control of ourselves we lose control of our thoughts we have no idea of what we speak we have no idea of our reactions we lose control and we become unaccountable mostly this aggression will never be a solution to the problem in fact our reactions and the way we responded might get us or the situation into a bigger mess and the problem could get magnified or bigger let us understand one thing problems are always going to be there and problems are never small problems these are difficult and challenging times our approach to tackling the problem needs to be affirmative and strong by worrying no problem has ever been solved so why worry instead try to have control over yourself and then try working out a solution let us pause again and recall our reactions and responses to bad days to unexpected problems to challenges that are bigger than mountains find mature ways to address these issues give yourself some time let it pass time is never constant it's dynamic tomorrow could be a better day staying positive allows you not only to soak in healthy energy but transcends positive vibes around you it allows you to smile even when you are troubled ponder a while and ask yourself do i smile in desperate times do i smile at all am i pleased with myself am i pleased with my success or disturbed with my failure what exactly am i going to do to make bad into good am i a part of the problem or am i a part of the solution am i sorting out issues that hassle me every day in a positive way or am i carrying the burden of frustration unhappiness gloom and misery like a big weight over my shoulders and getting crushed myself can i see the silver lining in every cloud of my life do i see a solution in every problem or do i see a problem in every solution and finally am i happy enough to radiate cheer joys and smiles to those who don't have such smiles or radiance